Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Elizabeth Noir channel. Today is a takeover by my husband. Today, our lovely viewers have a question for you. Ready? How did you train your nose? This nose, this nose right here, has been trained meticulously by smelling great fragrances. Uh, Elizabeth, however, she has a lot more experience than I do with raw materials. Uh, she smelled all kinds of oils and concentrates and uh, uh, I don't even know what you call them. Like the raw materials that actually go into perfume, she has more experience with that, but me, I just smell. I feel like the more you smell, uh, the better, you know, the more the more you'll start to recognize things, the more you'll open up to things that you didn't like previously. I used to not be a fan of citrus fragrances until I discovered the house of Atelier Cologne, and now I'm a big fan. I'm actually really interested in citrus fragrances. Another fragrance I wasn't a fan of was rose, but you know what? I kept sniffing rose fragrances, and I eventually found some that I liked. Uh, that was totally different complexity of rose. The world of perfume is so diverse and there's so many options out there, so don't give up on something. Um, just be open-minded and, and smell as much as you can. Advice for mm. a beginner, please? If you're just getting into fragrances, um, and keep in mind, this is advice only for someone who's interested in the hobby of fragrance. I don't know how to be a perfumer. Uh, I mean, I have ideas of what goes into it, but I can't speak to that. Uh, but if you're looking to get into fragrance, just get out there. Go to the store. Um, they have testers available. Smell the testers. I would start with samples. If you're trying to save a little money, don't be afraid of samples, get get samples. They're so much cheaper and you can actually wear them, experience them before you commit to a full bottle. Um, but yeah, if you're just starting out in fragrance, go to the stores, go to your department store or fragrance shop and spend a coat, like an hour or two uh, testing fragrances, spray them on the strip. When you spray a fragrance out in the store, Use different sections of your body to be able to wear and see how each develops on your skin. Uh, for me personally, I'll spray maybe one on the back of my hand, one in the middle of my arm, and then one closer to my bicep or shoulder. As long as you can smell it, um, you should be okay. Or maybe just spray one, two, you know, spray them at a good distance apart. And then you have this arm over here as well to spray. Just be aware that they definitely smell different on paper than they do on skin. They perform differently. Uh, they, they dry down differently. Uh, it's very interesting, actually. That depends on the fragrance. Uh, if the fragrance is soft, subtle, then I don't mind overspraying. Uh, Prada Loam, soft, subtle, close to the skin fragrances. If you want a little more performance from them, a little more projection or longevity, don't be afraid to overspray them. Sometimes I'll hit myself with like eight to 12 sprays of fragrance, uh, depending on the fragrance, of course. If you have if you have a bomb, like Red Tobacco by Mancera, then you might wanna take it a little lighter because you can fill up a room really fast. I remember the first time I tested Red Tobacco by Mancera, all we had at the time was a little dabber bottle sample, and I just did a couple swipes on my hand, and Elizabeth was like, Hey, what are you wearing? From upstairs in our house, and uh, she could smell it from up there. I was I was really surprised at the projection, uh, or maybe she just has a nose like a like a shark or something. And uh, she could smell it from a mile away. Oh, but yeah, the the amount of fragrance I wear really depends on the fragrance. But if you do overspray, it's good to give it a little buffer time. So let's say you're about to head off to work. Uh, I wouldn't overspray right as you left the door because uh, if you're on a train or bus or, or you get to work and it's still really potent, uh, it could be offensive to people or too much for people. So if you plan on overspraying, go ahead and douse yourself in the fragrance and then give it just a little bit of time, a little bit of time to dry down and it won't be so overwhelming. 
where should you spray? Um, so where I spray uh, also depends on like, if it's a fragrance that I'm absolutely in love with, um, like Lost Cherry, uh, I definitely, I spray my arms and then I spray the front of my shirt, like right here, because I want it to come up into my nose like, because I love the smell so much. Uh, if I'm testing a fragrance, I try to keep it to just my arms initially, maybe even just one arm in case I'm not a fan of it. I don't like spraying the back of my hands for testing fragrances because if you wash your hands throughout the day, you could damage the, the composition of the fragrance or wipe it away completely and you're not going to get the best experience for testing. Um, so if you're testing a fragrance, I like to hit the arms. If I love the fragrance, depending on the strength of it, I'll, you know, I'll do a spray here, spray here, back of the neck. I do the front uh, of my shirt for the day uh, because fragrances stay longer on clothing than they do your skin. Um, so if I really particularly enjoy a fragrance, I like to spray it on the front of my shirt so that, you know, I get wafts of it throughout the day. Not a lot of taboos that I have in my opinion. Uh, however, I will say, be careful with the fragrance if you haven't tested it yet. Because uh, I've actually had situations where I read the notes online, I did my research, uh, and I thought I was gonna love it. Blindly sprayed it on myself thinking I was gonna love it, and that was not the case. So definitely always test your fragrances first. Um, try to get samples if you can instead of blind buying bottles. It's just a more efficient way. Uh, it's cool to have the bottles, but you know, test them first. Make sure you're subscribed and click like and leave some comments. We're looking forward to reading your comments. Have a wonderful day everyone, see you next time!